Some people think of Kobe as a spreadsheet when it's actually a relational database presented as a spreadsheet. I'm no technical wizard, but I thought it might be useful to explain how I look at it as a layperson. In contacts, we've got the supplier's details with an email address as the key. Moving on to the building, we've got the floors defined and the spaces on each floor, including their room reference and their uniclass definitions. Zone allows spaces to be grouped together so a school can report on the areas used for teaching and circulation. We now drill into the types of products and materials that are included in this facility, the manufacturer, model number and warranty details, and of course the Uniclass code. The component tab records every instance of each asset type including the reference to the space tab and the unique identifier from the 3D model that automatically connects the data to the model. Here we see where all the FA011 smoke detectors are and all the assets in the boiler room. All of those components can be grouped by system. The manufacturer's recommended maintenance regimes is included in the jobs tab, including the individual tasks that can be compared with the generic maintenance libraries like SFG20 to ensure nothing important to the warranty is missed. PDFs of manufacturer's manuals and test certificates are held under documents. The Attribute tab holds additional ISC properties that are specific to that type of asset, like fire rating for doors or the attributes of a boiler. And the XYZ coordinates of each space and each item within each space on each floor in each facility is recorded in the Kobe database. But I think everyone would agree that we need something far more human friendly to access and use this great BIM data. We use Forge to federate the various geometric models and Active Plan to federate the Kobe files from the architectural and MEP models and then capture the as built information from contractor schedules. The result is a federated set of asset data we can tie back to the federated geometric model, creating a fully populated and validated BIM model. We can then synchronize with any FM application, not just plan maintenance, but also space, IoT, life cycle and also keep the O&M updated. So this is how Kobe looks as a proper database application in ActivePlan. The data from each of the Kobe tabs is here and the dashboard allows the maintenance manager in a school to drill into asset types and see what's in the digital O&M. The user interface allows him to scroll through and find products by their appearance. And he might need to replace a smoke detector, so he opens up the product information that specific model that was installed, which contains the detail about what he needs to order. He can also look up the system it forms part of which includes where everything's installed. That can be presented as a simple floor plan showing all the devices on the floor. So you can find the model of the device that's in that room and where else they may be installed. He can click on that because it's an active plan to get the product information. And in this case, the contractor hasn't provided the warranty information but that's easily added through forms or spreadsheets with no Revit skills. We've got the manufacturer's product details. And we can also see that there's missing information in terms of installation date and warranties. And the school might have a problem with its heating. So the facilities manager who's looking after several schools might need the model number of that particular boiler. Part of the Active Plan solution is a content management system called the Product Library that connects with other web-based library services. 
It's a networked application that allows merchants and manufacturers to populate it with their product information and keep it up to date. It can automatically record which buildings across the state have that same model installed. So the FMs have a number of different ways of finding the product information they need. Schedules with floor plans, data sheets and product libraries. But you might ask how that's tied back to the 3D models. As I explained earlier, Autodesk Forge is a tool that we use to federate many of the BIM models that are produced for any building. They include objects that might have some data behind them. But if you actually look here as we query it, there's a lot missing. And that's principally because this model would have been created by designers and they don't contain much information about the products that were actually installed. You see here the Kobe information is pretty well empty. And that's where the Active Plan database comes in. So by bringing the Forge model into the Active Plan database, we're connecting automatically the elements to the data. So the data is then connected to the model. But we can also create a number of saved views that make it easy for people to come along and navigate and find the information that they need. So again, we've got plan views, we've got schedules, and we've got floor plans. And in this 3D model, we can also navigate through to the boiler house. And just as we're able to click on the floor plan, we can click on the object in the 3D model and it goes and queries the database, the data in the cloud, that's being managed by the specialists. And we can hold a photograph that's perhaps been picked up during a survey and also check out any information that's missing. This interconnectivity uses web data services so interoperation with any other application the school might use is very easily set up. So as you've seen, the way we hold Kobe data allows us to generate floor plans directly from the database. That's how we get the web-based interactive floor plans. Another bonus of holding the BIM data in the Active Plan database is that it can be democratized and form part of the wider management reporting function. Many organisations are now using Microsoft Power BI, but I don't think many of them have got interactive floor plans. You can see here we can drill into the detail and see what's in each system and we can also see what's in each space.